Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another video for you guys So today what we're gonna be doing is going over the five best control brawlers in Brawl Stars Now I am predicting an upcoming control meta I do think that it's gonna be super awesome It's gonna be a lot different than what we currently have right now Which is kind of just like tankiness a lot of damage, etc. So that being said, we're gonna be doing a top five list so without further ado, no more intro, let's just cut straight into the video and let's go over the top 5 best control brawlers in Brawl Stars. Now before we go a little bit more into the video, let's just get a really quick shout out to my homie Sprout. Now I did play a game with Sprout, it was really cool, we were actually down by a little bit and I went into their spawn, killed them and then came back out with the gems. I was playing with randoms and I was going to use that gameplay, unfortunately having no brawlers under 400 trophies. I forgot that you can't replay games under 400, which is really weird. For me, I don't really know why that's a thing. But anyways, I wasn't able to show it. But anyways, just a really quick shout out. This is going to be kind of like the number six. Sprout is right now definitely the best brawler in the game. And it's probably the best control brawler if you're talking about right now in the game. But I'm kind of just talking about not necessarily all time, but just in general, who's really good for control metas. And some of these brawlers aren't even currently in the meta. They're just very good for control. Sprout is going to fall off. His stats are going to drop. He's going to become a worse brawler. And he's going to move out of this top list very, very quickly, which is why I kind of just gave him like this number six kind of just like really exceptional spot because he is right he is in that top five right now but he is not going to last there forever so we're going to take him out and with that being said let's hop into the gameplay and let's get into number five okay so coming in at number five we have Bo. now Bo is an insanely good control brawler you guys already know this and it's kind of obvious why so his mines are one of the best area control supers in the game without being said um, he does have that, um, sorry, he does have that star power, which is incredibly useful with that, with those mines. Obviously, they stun brawlers for like, what is it, two seconds, maybe a second and a half, but more than enough time for you to get some shots, your teammates to get some shots, and very likely for you to be able to kill them. It's really good against defending a bot or kind of just pushing forward, either stunning an Ike, stunning the bot, whatever it is, it's really good in Siege. The mines can also break walls and the grass around you, so if you are holding a lane and you want to break some grass that's above you on that lane, just throw your mines there when someone walks by you are going to be able to get that really easy kill um obviously the other star power is also very great for control was the old snake meta our snake prairie meta for about a couple of years almost a couple of years really good vision and really good range on that vision um obviously the gadget is also really really good just for charging your super and giving you the ability to get those area control area denial supers down very good range on this brawler as well kind of average health average damage average range this brawler is really good very obviously auto aim friendly very easy to hit at least one of the three bow mines and it is that is why this brawler is going to be number five on our list for the best control brawlers in the game now coming in at number four we do have gene now gene always seems to be top five on every single list i make maybe a little bit of bias towards gene because i love him so much but to be honest he does deserve to be here um he has one of the strongest supers in the game obviously so what does a gene super exactly do because it does do actually a little bit more than just pull people towards you it's a general threat of the gene super if you see somebody with gene super you're going to stay away from him you're not just going to walk right next to him you're not going to walk near him because you don't want to get pulled same thing if atara has a super a lot of other brawlers but shelly does has a super you don't want to get near it it's the exact same thing with gene gene's just an absolute beast you don't want to get near him which causes a bunch of area denial near you um his he only really has a tough time against tanks but even with that his gadget does give him an extra 700 hp and pushes the tanks away if you really need to both star powers are useful if you want to do more damage yourself or if you want to kind of just heal your teammates around you both of them are really good dependent on whatever playstyle you want to use very auto win friendly brawler you can keep enemy brawlers low because you can always just take far shots and the spread of that gene shot is basically impossible to, impossible to miss especially if you auto aim so you're always going to be able to keep them low um gadget is very useful two good star powers auto aim friendly there is not enough i can say about gene but unfortunately he's going to be at number four and not in our top three so with that being said let's hop into the number three brawler and let's show you guys what it is coming in at number three we have the legend herself Pam. Now, Pam is an absolute unit, and I mean an absolute unit. It does a ton of damage up close, so you can play brawlers such as Piper or Penny or like Brock or anyone who doesn't do that much damage up close. You can get as close as possible with that with Pam and just absolutely shred them. Let's say you're playing a brawler like like um, like a Primo or a Bull or a Daryl or someone who has really good close range. You can also just stay back, spray your shots, and still do a very good amount of damage. You have a ton of health, a ton of range. A ton of damage it is a really 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 good brawler outside of that the turret is also really good for healing yourself you can either choose one of two star powers which is either every shot you hit 
you and everyone around you gets 40 or 20 HP. I forgot exactly which number it is. Or with the healing turret, you can throw it down. And if anyone, if any of the enemies are in that healing turret, it does 500 damage per second. Obviously, really good area denial with that turret on top of the spray that you have with your shots that does cover a very wide area. It is just a beast of an absolute brawler and a really, really, really good control brawler. Outside of that, obviously, auto-aim friendly. You don't really need to aim that many shots. The gadget is very good. It gives you and your teammates, who are whoever's in the turret, a bunch of XP, or HP, I almost said XP. And I just mean it's an absolute amazing brawler. Many different ways to play it. And that is why it's going to be number three on our list of top control brawlers. Okay, so coming in at number two, we have Penny. Now, Penny is just like an absolute god for control. Don't even get me started. Her super is probably the best super in the game when it comes to control the turret is just an absolute beast and obviously her star powers both of them which affect her turret nothing to do with the brawler is just it just feeds onto it that fireball kind of barley barley bottle looking thing on the ground just covers a ton of area obviously the you just it's just snipes on snipes on snipes with that penny turret constant just shots 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 and it's just so so good once you get that turret down it is easily probably the best control ball in the game the issue is if you don't have that turret down it's not even in the top 10 top 15 or top 20 for control ball uh, brawlers um pretty auto aim friendly so it's not that bad the gadget is pretty useful um with the first star power but unfortunately that doesn't really go hand in hand with control you don't really want to break your turret if you're going for control only if you want to like kill someone who's below 1500 hp right in front of you or if you're trying to damage the ike and you just want to explode and get those explosions off but anyways penny is a really good brawler obviously um can be used in either a mid or a lane can be good can be good from up close can be good from up far obviously the splash on with the coins is really really good helps charge your supers helps take out tanks etc but this is going to be the number two brawler for today and with that being said we're going to hop into our number one now i'm going to give you guys a few seconds to guess what number one is and if you're not able to guess it is a little bit of a challenge but to be honest the number one brawler is kind of obvious so with that being said let's hop into number one and let's show you guys what it is so coming in at number one we have none other than mr p now mr p probably is the second best super when it comes to control outside of that penny turret um it's just absolutely insane so let me just teach you kind of what the mr p turret does and why it's so useful so every x amount of seconds a mr p spawnable comes the porter thing whatever it's called and he kind of just walks up and he kind of just dies right most people think you know what he kind of just dies but he takes two shots sometimes one sometimes three in order to kill now if every if every brawler uses all of their shots on this little mr p porter they have no shots left to kill you and this mr p porter is constantly sending little penguin after little penguin after little penguin forward it very much hard counters brawlers like brock or penny or b or piper just brawlers that can't shoot through things penny i probably should take out of the list but brawlers that don't do a ton of damage from up close etc and then when you pull out your gadget and make it stronger it is just absolute it's just so toxic because you can, it can the other enemy brawler can do 1.4k hp your little mr p guy will have 100 hp left i think they're about to have it dead and the next thing they know it has three thousand hp it's just going to take that many more shots it's extremely good obviously you can shoot over walls you have really good range which makes it like you don't even need to get hit most of the time i'm not even sure if i get hit in this game to be honest um outside of the super mr p obviously can shoot over walls really good for keeping control the two star powers are very useful for whether you want to just not shoot over walls and just kind of just spam and still get those two hits those two box jumps anyways or if you want to just have a really tanky porter and not have them take it out either way mr p is a god brawler for control and that is why mr p is going to be our number one control brawler today so anyways that's going to be it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed this top five if you guys want to see any other top fives definitely let me know in the comment section below but that's going to be it for today i will see you guys again later